Fallout 4. Is it worth a buy? Let's read the words, the words of the developer, the words of Bethesda. The game studio that we all love and trust, yeah? They would never lie to us, would they? Bethesda Game Studios, the award-winning creators of Fallout 3 and The Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, welcome you to the world of Fallout 4, their most ambitious game ever and the next generation of open world gaming. Next generation, next generation of open world gaming right here you guys, come on in and watch. As the sole survivor of Vault 111, you enter a world destroyed by nuclear war. Every second is a fight for survival, and every choice is yours. Only you can rebuild and determine the fate of the wasteland. Welcome home. So guys, Fallout 4 is finally here. This is the game I've been looking forward to the most this year, I have to say. Um, huge Fallout 3 fan and I, I, I just couldn't wait to play this. Uh, the hype this has been getting has been off the scale. It's been getting nines and nine and a halves. And I've watched a couple of reviews and it has to be said, these people don't know what the f*** they're talking about. They really do. I don't know what game they've been playing, but it's not the same game I've been playing, that's for certain. The first thing I want to talk about is the console port and options. Diabolical is probably a, a, a good word to, to sum it up. Um, you can't rebind all the keys. A lot of keys are mapped to multiple uses, which is a, a big no-no on the PC. Fair enough on a console. On a console, you've got your controller, which only has a few buttons on it. It doesn't have a lot of buttons. What, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen 12, 13 buttons or so, my keyboard. Look at all them. Well, you can't say, but you know how many keys there's on a keyboard. There's no excuse for a PC game to have multi-purpose keys. It should never happen. We have enough keys on the keyboard so that every single usage and ability can have its own separate key. Now, where, th where this has problems in, in this game is I sometimes pop into third person mode because that's multi-purpose, that key as well. You know, holding down a key gives it a different meaning to tapping the key. I couldn't even loot objects at first because looting objects, for me, was Y. For everybody else who doesn't use TGFH, it's E. But if you just, if you go to an object and press E, he picks it up magically using the force. He doesn't put it in his inventory. If you tap E, he then picks it up. It's bullshit. The worst one is reload. Reload is also take all, like uh, for looting. And if you're in a firefight and you accidentally point at a, like say you're, you're firing, 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 and then you pull out and hide back behind a wall, but you're pointing at a cupboard and you press R to reload, it won't reload it will open the fucking cupboard and you'll get an inventory screen. Hey, do you want to loot this box of empty cigarettes? It's like, no, I want to reload me fucking gun. <coughs> For me, I can't even craft buildings because in this game, there's a big crafting, which I'll come into in a minute. But one of the amazing things you can craft are structures and buildings. You can place walls, ceilings, floors and all that. But when I try to do it, G, which is normally walk backwards, actually is rotating the object in your hand so when i try to walk backwards say to place a fence or something i don't walk backwards the fence just starts spinning round and round and round and i can't rebind it it's awful the port to make matters worse there's frame rate issues which is linked to v-sync and that affects how the game runs now that's bad but not half as bad as the fact that there is no fob slider and some of the weapons are so bloody big they take up a quarter of your viewing screen it's set at 480 we don't even have a fob slider on a triple a game and i'm sorry but bethesda aren't a mickey mouse company they're a big company they have no excuse for this. This isn't a cheap game. It's not early access. It's not an alpha. It's not a beta. It's a finished, supposed, polished, triple A, full priced, 40 odd pound plus, or a thousand pound if you live in Australia and New Zealand because they just get exploited to f. And it just looks like a fing alpha or a early access game. Now, when I pay a trip for a triple A game, it's triple A money, you know, £40. If I go to buy a triple A car, I expect 
triple A quality. You know, that's a given that you should expect that. That's not being entitled. That's just you expect it. You're supposed to get what you pay for. Well, you do in everything except the gaming industry. If I go and buy a Rolls Royce because I've got the money to do it, and I, mean, I don't have the money to do it, but if I did and I went to buy one, I would expect triple A quality because it's a triple A car. I mean, can you imagine buying a Rolls Royce Phantom? sitting in it and finding a little kid's plastic steering wheel and when you press the horn it goes yeah well that's what this game is it's a triple a top price full whack game and when you open it up and start playing it you can't rebind your keys there's no fucking fob slider and that's just in the options it's a mess and while I'm on the subject of messes, let's get all the dirty shit out the way now. Let's get it all out. The AI. The AI is f***ing hideous in this game. I'm not kidding you. It's awful. You have companions, which could be a robot, a dog, or a person. They can come with you as you go and explore the wasteland. They may as well stay at f***ing home because they can't shoot for shit. The dog's alright, it pins enemies down and it's useful, but the other people are just awful. I took a guy out hunting who was the leader of the f***ing Minutemen, which I'll come to in a minute, and he couldn't f***ing shoot straight. He's all over the place, but thankfully the enemy AI is just as bad. I mean, we were having a firefight on a bridge and they were charging towards us and I was thinking, f***, we're going to get overrun, but they just ran straight past us. The guy was just, he, he just ran past us and I was like, mate, I'm here. And we just shot him. And it, oh God. I, I found the huge scorpion. Really big scorpion. It just popped out of the ground. My dog found it. And I was like, oh my goodness, it's a huge fucking scorpion. It just sat there and said, um, go ahead, shoot. <laughs> I'm not going to kill you. It, honestly, it's, it's rife. There's clipping issues as well. And, and also as well, the, the AI goes from one extreme to the other. They never miss with grenades and molotovs. They land on your head every single time. And it's just like, you're sneaking in there all here. You boom, 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 dead. It's like, uh, what a f***ing mess this game is. Absolute mess. The graphics don't even look great. I mean, I thought it was a Fallout 3 mod when I loaded it up. They're not brilliant. And I'm very disappointed, guys. I'm very... It's getting 9.5 9 out of 10 on some sites. Ah, 1,400 positive reviews and bloody hell, man. No one's mentioning all this. They're just sweeping it under the carpet. There's a guy on the Steam forums posted two pages of faults. And do you know what someone said? You're nitpicking. <laughs> oh, f***ing fanboys. Honestly, you gotta love it. And then there's the story. Then there's the story. Oh my goodness, the story. You can choose to be a guy or a, or a woman at the beginning of the game. I chose to be a guy. And I'm not kidding you. This guy, I'm not going to spoil the story, by the way. You, you, you know what happens. There's a nuclear war. You go into the shelter. You come out of the shelter. You don't know what the f***'s going on because you've been frozen in cryostasis for 200 years. That's not a spoiler. You find that out in the first 10 minutes. And you come out and you find a dog immediately you then come to a, a village where there's a bit of a siege going on and you help the Minutemen overcome the siege you kill a couple of people that's about it the Minutemen then say hey thanks would you like some power armor you know the really good stuff that took you like 40 hours to get in Fallout 3 here here there's some and there's a mini gun to go with it and so like you know half an hour into the game you've got your bloody power armor and a mini gun they don't want it they don't want it. They're happy to use the little fucking pop guns and their shitty coats as armour. But, hey, a, a total stranger comes along, kills a couple of people. There you go, have the power armour. And you think that's bad. It gets worse. Ten minutes fucking later, they come to live in your street and make you the leader of their entire faction. I mean, fuck off. They, they don't know you from fucking Adam. And they've just turned everything over to you. The best weapons, the best armour and full leadership and they're now calling you General Sir. I mean, fuck off. What kind of banter piss of a storyline is that? It's awful. And do you know something? What annoys me about this game is that it has markers all over the place that you have to follow. It doesn't let you just be you in this game. It's supposed to be a role-playing game. Why, why is the protagonist voiced? I don't want the protagonist voiced. I really don't. It's me. I'm playing this guy. I'm the voice of the guy. I don't need a voice. You know, how does the the, the programmers know how I feel? I, I don't want to listen to his lame-ass excuses because I don't use excuses. You know, there's 
things where you have to sort situations out with like drug dealers and people and I just want to do it my way but you can't because this guy's voicing your opinion how do they know your opinion in role playing games you're not supposed to do that it's supposed to be left to the player to decide how their character is going to be you design your character from the ground up and you know in Fallout 3 we had karma and it was like if you do bad shit bad shit will happen because you know people say hey you know that Matt guy he's been murdering innocent people let's go and f***ing kill him but there's none of that in this there's no karma in this you just go around blowing people's brains out and there's no immersion into the role of, the, of you because you've got this your guy constantly yatta 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 telling it how he thinks it should be and it's bullshit the f***ed up shut my guy up I don't want to hear his bullshit and I want karma you know it's Ah, seeing that, like, I do like the game. Yeah. Yeah, no, I've spent 10, 10 minutes or so slagging it off. But I actually like it. Um, I'm going to tell you why I like it. Um, it may have shitty AI, shitty graphics, glitches, clipping issues, dogs falling through the floor. It needs a lot of work, and Bethesda need to f***ing get their finger out. In fact, I'm going to go as far as to say Bethesda... Fuck Bethesda. Hey, Bethesda, down your tools a second and listen to Mac. Just listen to me. Listen to somebody who was around when you first started, when you were only doing PC shit, where we got you to where you are now. You just fucking listen to me. Don't fuck off the PC gamers. If you've got any integrity, you should give us the first DLC free of charge and fix this fucking game and apologise for turfing it out in such a mess because actions speak louder than words and I'm telling you now by your actions of releasing this game in its sorry assed state you know what that tells me it tells me you don't give a flying fuck about PC gamers that you're only interested in where the money is in the console market because if you did give a fuck about us PC gamers you would have put a bit more love into this game and it's not asking for much to have rebindable keys for everything and to have a false slider is it is that asking too much for a triple a game in 2015 i don't think so so let's talk about the good things it does ooze atmosphere um the story's bullshit who gives a f i don't give a shit about the story i don't give a f about no baby or anything i'm mac i come out the fallout shelter and every better keep out of my f way because I am going to do my shit. That's what I'm going to do. I don't even bother with the story quests. I'm just wandering around. You know, I'm the type of guy that likes to roam around. I'm never in one place. I roam from town to town. I have no false slider. The AI are fucking shit. I don't give a shit about any plots, quests. I don't, I actually don't give a, you don't play these type of games to, I beat it, I beat it in 36 hours. Ah, mom, mom, I beat it. Mom, mom. You know, it's not that type of game. It's really not that type of game. It's the kind of game that you should get immersed in and just enjoy being in the world and have your own adventure. And that's what I like to do. And it does look like it's been bombed, the world that you're in. I mean, it's convincing. It convinced me. I mean, it did. The graphics aren't the best, but it, you know, you kind of think, wow. I've got all this world, I've got me little dog, I've got me gun, I've got me raggedy armour and there's a whole world out there and I don't know what's in it, mutants, monsters, factions, gangs, you know, I'm just going to head that way, you know, and I just want to head that way and I can build shit and I can mod all me weapons and I can do all these amazing things and that's what this game, that's what made Fallout 3 great, it, was, it wasn't the story. It was the whole idea that you had this world in, in front of you and that you could just go and do what the f***. I had, in Fallout 3, I took over a hotel, murdered everybody that was in it and piled all the bodies into one room and lived like King f***ing Tut. It was great! And that's what I liked about Fallout 3 and that's what, what I fully intend to do in Fallout 4. I'm just going to do it my way. My way, not the game's way. And this is what Bethesda need to get a grip with. I mean, it's kind of like, it's, we, I don't give a shit about your story. I'd be happier if this whole game was total sandbox. You came out of uh, Vault 111 and the game says, right, off you go, do what the f***. I'd be much happier with the game. But let's see what you can do. There are factions that you can join. I'm in the Minutemen. I'm leader of the Minutemen at the minute. 
get it. Minute, 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 minute. And uh, there's other factions. Uh, there's loads of other factions around there, and some are morally corrupt. Some are better than others, and you can choose which ones you want to join. There is a load of weapons, and the great thing about these weapons is you can pretty much mod the shit out of them. Uh, there's these stations around the, the world and you can go and put sights on them change the the size of the magazine you can change the weight the comfort the grip the, the range all kinds of stuff it's it's just amazing that the level and depth of, of modding that's why it's very important that you collect everything i mean you might think you're picking up just a coffee cup and an old file but these are important crafting resources and when you kill something collect the meat because there's cooking as well but you can build your own settlement which is really nice touch you go to these crafting machines and you can build walls floors ceilings uh turrets defenses you can have a full ecosystem you can make gardens you can make water pumps you, you then get settlers living in your little base and you assign them to different jobs like one can be tending the garden one can be on defense and stuff like that and it's really really nice it's a bit like fallout shelter you have it across the top of your screen the needs of your people and then you build a generator and hook it up to lecky and you can put a speaker that broadcasts that you are looking for more settlers and then more settlers come and you build more beds for them more houses and it's a nice little mini game if you like and you get attacked by raiders as well who want to come and steal your food so it's all adding to immersion i really like that i mean it's a bit shit some of it the way they've done it i mean it could have been done better you can demolish a whole house by pressing one key you know it's a bit shit but it's there you know I'm, I'm happy with it. it it works and it's it's a nice addition to the game and then obviously you've got the whole world out there to explore and the combat in this game apart from the very dodgy AI at times the combat's quite nice I quite like it um, it has the VATS system that it's had in Fallout 3 which I never use really um, it slows it all down it breaks immersion for me I've always been a running gun kind of guy I just like the old-fashioned way of mow the f***ers down with maximum prejudice that that's the way I play the game. I don't need a bat system. I've just ran out of bullets in my minigun actually, which is a big shame, so now I'm screwed. I have wasted it on, on little targets, but I just I just like the idea of blowing limbs off. It's just amazing shooting shit with the minigun. But I'm getting better weapons. I've killed a legendary guy who had some legendary weaponry. And you know, I'm modding stuff and I'm as, as I'm uh, exploring deeper into the wastelands, you get better gear. Uh, armor can be modded as well. Your power armor can be modded. Everything can be modded really. Your power armor uses fusion cores as power. Luckily I stumbled across a few of them. I think I have four four fusion cores, so I'm, I'm pretty good for that. And it's it does feel like you're surviving. I, I'm a bit disappointed at the food and water. I would have liked to see i mean if you're going to have survival have survival let's get hungry let's need sleep if you don't have sleep for a couple of days you start shaking and you can't aim properly you know you should have that or you don't have any of that food is and water is strictly for replenishing your health which you can do by sleeping anyway so it's kind of like you don't need you don't really need the settlements you know it's just kind of padding i guess but i like it because it does add a bit of immersion um so it is a good game it's full of bugs and flaws and horrible combat and, and horrible porting but all of them things can be fixed with a bit of graft and we're just looking at bethesda now it's our all eyes on bethesda what are they going to do about it are they going to ignore it um which is looking like what they're doing so far or are they going to give us an apology and fix it i'm hoping it's going to be the latter so is it worth buying well it's full price what i'll say is this if you loved fallout 3 you're going to be disappointed with this probably uh, but you need to get over the bugs i've got over it i've had a good cry i went to bed hooked me pillow cried into it because it didn't turn out the way i wanted it but i'm still salvaging joy out of this game and i know i'm going to get my money's worth because i'm probably going to keep playing it for hours and hours and hours till i've got some amazing gear and i've explored all the world i'm not interested in the plot i, don't, I just literally honestly i couldn't be i, I just don't give a f i'm gonna have my own story my way in this world and that's that and i'm doing a playthrough on the other channel which i'm quite enjoying as well so should you go and buy it um if you like this kind of post-apocalyptic worlds with mutants and it's got the, the combat's pretty decent the exploration value is is massive on this game it's so 
nice. It's such a, even though the graphics are pretty average, it's so nice exploring this world. I would say, yeah, go and buy it. Um, you can save a bit of money using the link in the description and go to Green Man Gaming and using my little voucher code, you'll get 20% off it. So you probably might want to do that rather than pay full price elsewhere. But it's a nice game and I'm going to give it a thumb up because I'm enjoying it. And that's the bottom line. That is the bottom line. Am I enjoying the game? Yeah, I am. Despite the bugs so there you go another truthful review from mac that's the real deal you know a lot of people review games living in a f***ing bubble i live in reality and the reality is despite what a lot of the fanboys are probably going to say all the stuff i told you at the beginning is true that's what you're going to expect so i'm going to give this a bit of a buyer beware thumb up